Welcome to the QuickBooks University. My name is Matt Holtquist. In this QuickBooks Online video, I wanted to show you how to set up class tracking in QuickBooks Online. Okay, now class tracking can be very important for a business when you have uh, certain segments of the business or divisions that you want to track. Okay, so for, for example, you may have uh, in, in this business design and landscape services, you may have two main types of services. Let's say it's new landscape construction, or it might be a remodel of an existing landscape, and you want to track the income and expenses for both of those divisions instead of just lumping them into one big category on your profit and loss, okay? So the first thing we wanna do is go up to our account and settings under the gear icon. All right, and when we go to over here, we're gonna to go to the advanced tab and you're gonna see categories here, track classes. All right, so if you click on this, we're gonna say yes, track classes. And you also wanna check warn me when a transaction isn't assigned a class, okay? That way you're sure to assign, you know, each and every transaction to a class, okay? Very important in class tracking. All right, so you have the option here, assign classes. You can assign it one to an entire transaction or one to each row, okay? Totally up to you. Um, you know, one to each row might take a little bit more work, you know, but um, you can do either way. All right, so let's hit save, all right? And if we hit done, so now when you go into different transactions, uh, I will show you here. So if we, you know, let's say that we want to create an invoice. All right, and let's just pick uh, Duke's basketball camp. Okay, we're gonna say that, uh, you know, we had some design work and it was, you know, let's say it's 50 hours. It's a lot of design. Okay, so you're gonna see this option here, class, all right? So right here, you can add a new class right here if you want to, it's pretty straightforward. We have our classes in here already of new construction or remodel. Let's say that this is new construction. Okay, so we have 3750 and we're just gonna hit save and close. Okay, and the same is done on the expenses side. If you have you know a bill or an invoice or whatever it is, let's say that uh, uh, we have an expense and uh, let's say that, you know, it's a, it's a bill that we get in and we choose our vendor. Let's say that it's uh, Computers by Jenny and we'll just make up something here. Let's say that it's commissions and fees and it's um, $150, okay? And let's say we assign this to uh, Duke's Basketball Camp and we choose the class, New Construction. All right, so let's hit save and close. All right, so let me show you what this does. When we go to our reports, you're gonna see that you have an option here, profit and loss by class. All right, so let's pull that up, okay? So you're gonna see we have new construction, remodel, and not specified, okay? These are the, the different items, income and expense items that have not been assigned to a class. Okay, so if you are doing class tracking, you would want to go through these and uh, allocate them, assign them to a class. All right, so you'll see we have the two in or this invoice that we did, this new construction, and we also have the expense, the $150. Okay, so it shows us a profit and loss by class. Okay, this can be very, very handy when you're trying to understand your business and where you're making money and where you're not making money. Uh, and it's a, it's a great feature within QuickBooks Online, all right? Learn everything you need to know about QuickBooks Online or QuickBooks Desktop over at QuickBooks University. Uh, we've got some great training tutorials over there that will show you everything you need to know about QuickBooks to get up and running quickly uh, and efficiently. And I also give one-on-one -on -one support over there. I answer all of our members' questions uh, because, you know, questions pop up that are very specific to people's businesses, and I love to help you out. So head on over, qbuniversity.org.